I will make you proud, Rasulko. Okay. Oh, I see it. It's live. Welcome back. Everyone. Welcome back, everyone. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Gee, what? <laughs> ah, so, someone just punched themselves in the face. That was me. That would be me, yeah. I'm tied up. Just leave that there. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Uh, so, welcome to the Wanderer's uh, S&M dungeon. He's just <laughs> untied himself. <laughs> and welcome to Silent Night. We have for you a festive but creepy ghost hunting adventure tonight. Woo! Um, so... How are we going in the... So we've got Matt Clark and Jonathan Bokes from Darkling Room with us, but... I think there's a little bit of a technical issue there at the moment. Oh well, we'll sort something out. At least they are they are they physically are connected to <laughs> Nicole. We just, we just can't hear them right now. No dramas. Okay, yeah. let's just start, I shall we? I trying to speak. Might, uh, uh, Darkling Room, you might have to uh, quit Discord and, you know, fire it up again, because it's a bit weird sometimes. Yeah, if you can hear us, that is. It happens. Okay. Well, let's just get into it, shall we? Yeah. New game? New game? No? Doesn't want to start a new game? That's a bit strange. Uh -oh. Oh. Hang on. Something's happening. It's loading, so that's a good sign. Do you believe in ghosts? Here we go. You know, the old fashioned kind, like the grey lady, the hooded monk, or the disappearing child. What about the ghosts of objects, places? paranormal events. You see, it started with an event. The North Wind event. put snow early this an year. An event. And something else. Christmas comes. I just realized I'd been talking for <laughs> no about envelope, two minutes and I had the stand. microphone muted. No <laughs> <laughs> they were carried Yay. on the wind, falling into gardens, streets, woods. But the church seems to... As long as you don't do that for your actual North stream. Wind. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no stranger to a bit of ghost hunting. Game sounds a bit quiet. You may know. I'll turn that yeah, up a bit. Up the yeah. Set off into the white world outside. Let me know if that's any better. Unfortunately, the weather took a turn for the worst. Okay. So. Here we are at Northfield Church, everyone. If you've played The Lost Crown before, this is a pretty recognizable location. It's been dressed up a little bit. Uh, we'll just have a so look is, at this. Is this game a, is this game a sequel? A flood war. Uh, it's a standalone in the series. So the first game was The Lost Crown. The Lost Crown, sorry. Um, the second other standalone was sort of a Halloween special that came out last year. It was called The Lost Crown Midnight Horror. And this one now we have Silent Night. Now it's a bit it's a bit different to the other games. The other games are a traditional point and click, but right now we have this really nice real time three D kind of movement going oh, on. Yeah. Kind of um, uh, Life is Strange ish. Uh, yeah, yeah, movements. yeah. Exactly, exactly right. Um, I like this. I also like that it's it's a third person uh, perspective. That's that's one of the things I really liked about Life is Strange as well. Is you get to see your main character. So if you're embodying a character you want to actually see what they look like on screen yeah exactly right uh, what yeah, i love this about this series strapping fella. he is nigel danvers everybody ghost hunter yeah. extraordinaire <laughs> okay vacant so. stare that he has <laughs> well he's <laughs> he's seen some stuff surely <laughs> <laughs> well yeah ghosts mainly <laughs> mainly what I love about this series as well is the partial colour aspect of it. As you can see, everything is in black and white here, but we can go up to these little bushes, and we've got the red coming through, certain colours like that. I'll just put the camera on that a little bit, just for the aesthetics there. 
Alright. Northfield Church. Okay, so we've got... The cabinet is locked. It's also got a very posh accent. I enjoy it. <laughs> I believe uh, that's... What, what year does this... What time frame does this take place in? Well, that is a very good question. Because throughout the Lost Crown, if you've played it, if anyone's played it, um, there are little timey-wimey things that go on. Sometimes you'll see a poster that says 2008, and then someone won't know what a TV chef is, or it'll everything will be look like. Every, everyone will basically. Um, how do I explain this? <laughs> okay, good. A good example is in the Lost Crown. There's a character called the Station Master, which is the Station Master of Saxton Train Station, and. He is overseeing a steam train, and when Nigel says, oh, wow, you know, your period costume, I guess the tourists like it, he has no idea what he's talking about. There was also mm. another couple of characters that say they bought their house in the 60s, but they look very young, and it's supposed to take place around 2008. So there's a bit of a time thing going on there. Nice. So it's a bit of a... Uh, we're not into... There's some time warp yeah. stuff going on. I yeah. love when... You know, I love when fiction does that when it puts you kind of on edge. Yeah. In terms I love that of too. You know, what? What? Okay, Where are we, we actually, actually at? We got the key. Now John Lee is one of the reasons why I really like the, uh, the, like the Silent Hill the movie, the first one, because it does a mm. really good job of just going, "Yeah, sorry, we are now in some some completely different place." And I know. Definitely the game agree. Changed the movie, but I quite like it to be handy. That could be handy. We got the little points gaining sound effect there. Oh. There it is. Northfield in the fens. And I won't be alone by the sacrament. Won't he? Alright, let's just approach the church. Got a run. We got a little run button too. The tower. So we have a inventory a as well. Some sort of lock. So the inventory puzzles. Some sort of lock. <laughs> I love. I love the some sort of. It's <laughs> the tower. Whenever, whenever. It's locked. Ah, oh, played a different little animation. Whoa, hello. This is a just... very atmospheric game. Yeah. Darkling Room do a very good job with their atmospherics. Someone just threw Christmas cards at me from the tower. Look at that. How rude. Anyway. They're going to wish you a Merry Christmas no matter how many damn paper cuts you get. <laughs> Whether I like it or not. <laughs> Alright. What do we reckon, guys? Should we go into the church or look around the ground some more? What does everyone think? I mean, oh, well, I'm, I'm sure there's nothing supernatural and evil and demonic in the church at all. So let's go yeah. in there. Oh, yeah, the church will be safe in the church. It, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay. They are mid service. It would be rude to enter, but uh, that's never stopped me. Poor Darkling Room's probably trying to tell us, "No, don't do that, you idiots!" <laughs> but we can't hear them. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Something's happening. Yeah, we we actually. We actually oh. do have the developers with us, and they're they're typing in our little uh, um, private. Are they chats. typing? I can't uh, see that at the moment. Uh, that's, uh, we we are we're trying to help them, maybe, you know, because they are present and they are watching the stream and uh, going hello all, um, <laughs> and and we could hear them just before we started the stream, and now things have gone to maybe the ghosts got them. That's a possibility. Uh, the, I saw this before because I did play around with it. There's a nice little reference here that I that made me giggle. Bigger on the inside. Oh look, it's porta potty. Doubted. Nice. And it's blue. And it's blue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are we? Oh, that's creepy. I mean, it's wholesome. Uh, wholesome Christmas season. tale, guys. If this has changed. I mean, it's it, every time a game just sort of wrestles control from you and goes, "It's a cutscene now, fucker." Yeah. <laughs> you just go, oh, oh no! Either something bad is going to happen, or it's going to be a nice sort of mood-setting, establishing shot kind of thing. 
I also love how half oblivious Nigel is right now. He, the whole world just changed around him and he said, Oh, I must have missed the memo about daylight savings. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, he's seen some shit. I mean, he's, he's seen worse. Just he's the entire mechanism. landscape shifting on you. Yeah, that's, that's, I see shit like that before breakfast. What we got here? A little bit. <laughs> now that is creepy. <laughs> that is creepy. That is the, the giant demonic church and the landscape shifting. No, no problems there. But that thing turning, that's that, creepy. Yeah, not that. Well, I mean, it's got an eye in the middle of it. Oh, jeez. Did it? Look at I didn't notice these signs pop up all around the church. Thieves will be prosecuted. Better oh. not take any inventory items. Oh, it's never stopped me before. As Nigel said. Emergency lights? There's a deep snow drift. With the walls, hello. Welcome. That stone cross must have fallen from somewhere. What was that? What was that? I thought for a second maybe maybe I heard uh maybe I heard uh, the Darkling Room's voices. So did I. Is that... That's not right. Did they just sort of pop in and go, We still exist? <laughs> and... No, I think you were hearing the character. Maybe. Ah, uh, dang. I believe that is John Convoke's voice. Ah, so. uh, yeah, that, that, would, that would make sense. Yes. Okay. Steven Johnson says, Alas, I cannot join as I am working at the moment, but my heart's and sphincter go out to you. Hmm, uh, nice one. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, thanks for that, Stephen. Uh, <laughs> what have we got here? Dendrochronology. That is a Choice word that. I would have to sound out a couple of times before <laughs> reading out. Dendrochronology. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, so we've got Doctor Who starts. So that's when the tree was alive when Doctor <laughs> Who started. That's where it was what? with Brexit. There's another Brexit reference, guys. <laughs> cool. Okay. Oh, the text is so small, I have to squint to see Squint in, yeah. Squint in, engaged. <laughs> okay. We're going to run for a bit. Oh, hang on. I saw something. Oh, does he do that thing when he sees something interesting? He oh, hello, ghosts. Um, okay, so we've taken... He... Oh, sorry. His head... Is that like when, when he sees something interesting, his head turns and he goes, ooh, ooh should have a look at that. Yeah, he saw... Well, he wrestled control from me. Oh. Yeah, so we've got two photos here. Can we spot the difference? Can yeah, there's ghosts in one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't there? One's on the left, the other one's on the right. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I might have something here. I'm not wrong! <laughs> I might have something here. <laughs> awesome. Oh, shoot, it's the ghost from Mudlarks. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Hello, we're quite lost. We're supposed to be at the Thames. Could you please direct us? That's something I haven't showed off on here yet, but I guess we were in Vincent, place. where are you? So we do have Nigel's ghost hunting gadgets with us. So we've got here a night vision camera. Ooh. Uh, the um, mouse sensitivity is a little how's it going at the moment, but I've been assured that um, they are working on it. They're probably looking at replacing the whole first person aspect here based on... Um, oh god, look at that. I'll just turn that off for a sec. Um, based on feedback from the testers and the demo, the people who played the demo, that they want the point and click interface in there, which they wanted to add in, uh, so... Uh, are we not going to mention the silhouettes of ghosts that just appeared in your vision? What no? do you mean? What are you We're talking gonna... about? Oh, sorry. What ghosts? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else? No? Um, okay. No. 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 <laughs> so how, how recent is this game? So this came out, um, well this is the demo, so the full game is, isn't coming out until Q1 2019. This is the demo, which is the first couple of hours. Of oh, gameplay, cool. and that came out a week ago, two weeks ago. Let's go back into the church. I think we've seen all there is to see out here for now. Surely the church can't be harmful to us now. That's it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Darkling Room are saying in the uh, in, in in our uh, private chat that they are working on ghost gadgets. They are changing into a point and click gameplay for the full Silent Night. night. Oh, for the full. Um, yeah. So. I was, I think I was under the impression when I first saw this, the trailers for this game that you would be able to switch between the 
3D third person movement and point and click mode. So I guess they might be going straight for the point and click. If uh, Darkly Room can let us know. Yeah. Uh, I think I think that's what they just confirmed. They also said that this was out on the 20th. The 20th. So this is a very, very recent... And they I think they mean the 20th of December. Yes. So yes. this is a very, very recent game. And it has Santa in it. Oh, good. Santa's... Surely Santa's friendly. He can't hurt us, right? <laughs> oh, uh, Darkly Room says we're doing both point and click and... Full 3D. Awesome. Point and click. Point and click will have lower specs. Oh, good. That means I can play it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we got here? What's it? Someone there? Oh. So uh, sadly, I'm I'm kind of running interference between the uh, developers who are in the chat. We swear we're not making this up. <laughs> um, and uh, the rest of the stream. Okay, there's, so uh, there's something coming. There's got something here. What's that? Ooh. Or is it, it's a sausage. Could be a sausage. We got something down here. Natural fogging or mist could be condensed. Natural fogging or mist or steam coming from a steaming hut, boiling pot of. Dun dun dun. What's that? Soup. That's a fly. That's a fly. <laughs> now, hmm. This is soup well, that, on. That could be something. Oh, the soup. The soup's always on, my friend. <laughs> In fact, soup's on. Okay, I don't know. I didn't hear that. I don't know if any other guys could hear that, but soup was just on. I. The soup was on. <laughs> yes. Strange. Soup's on. And there's no obvious source. Uh, it's such a great voice. Hello. 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 Hey. Hello. 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 Welcome. Joy of joys. It's a hey. Sorry about that. No, that's you, okay. You uh, Brexit. <laughs> What happened? Did the ghosts get you? I don't know. As soon as he went live, we disappeared. We were back. Hurrah. <laughs> so, modern Brexit Britain at his best. Oh, and we can see... Coming through Finally. Clear. It's a, a angel sing, choir, everything. Singing from the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> speaking, oh, of choir. speaking of which. Oh, here we are. <laughs> so that, this is Darkling Room. This is the... Absolutely. The Lovely daffodils. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, guys. Finally. Oh, look. A guide to help identify the choir. Okay. Mm. Mm. You've got this would be you two hints here. of what's coming at the full game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something clearly happened to the rest of the choir. Uh, it's for a puzzle later on in the game. Ah. 1912, nice. they had a full choir. 1914, only two people showed up. Yeah, can it really ah, be called a choir if it's two people? Yeah. I think Clearly. if, if well, you can it's... harmony, I'm, you know. Yeah, basically do it. Okay, f settle down, people. We're going to do Ava Maria. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. let's get out of here. Whoop, I'm stuck. There we go. Hey, whoop. He does not strike me as a ghost huntery type uh, person, uh, but but as you say, he has seen some shit. Uh, so maybe, I mean. Uh, I think can... Nigel's a bit of an un unwilling ghost hunter at this point. Um, something happened to him in my first game called Darkfall that was very strange. And he doesn't really take anything at face value, but also takes everything at face value, if you understand what I mean, because there's a kind of there's something very whiffy about the world that he lives in, uh, being black and white for a start. And um, yeah, time slips. It's, uh, it's something he's not used to, but uh, certainly expects. <laughs> I love that. Something he's not used to. I don't think any of us would, unless we were some <laughs> debilitating disease. I was, I was going to ask you about uh, connection they... to Darkfall, actually, and maybe if Polly White, will we, will we be seeing any of her, or is she is she gone? Uh, not, in, not in Silent Night. There's a, there's a there's kind of new characters in this one. I wanted it to be very much a standalone, but um, yeah, I mean, I recorded Emma Harry, who plays um, Lucy up until the, until the last game, which, you know, uh, the first crown, which I'm, I'm hoping to see out by 2060, and uh, <laughs> be really cool. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be nice to finally hear those vocals. Oh man, <laughs> crown game. No, Plenty we after, uh, once we've wrapped with this one, we're on a bit of a roll now until Easter for for Black and Rock. We're very keen to just now get it awesome. done. Get it. Get, it's for, in a way, it's become a kind of a strange splinter because every time we go back to it, we kind of find ourselves even more frustrated. 
we have to work for a living as well, obviously, with being just indie developers. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. it's kind of like, sometimes it's just been a little bit of a pain in the ass, and it's one of those projects that needs just to sit down for you know at least a month, basically. It's not a kind of let's do a bit on that at the weekend. And in a way, I, I smaller Darkfall games because they're the sort of thing that you know you you make it, you finish it, you put it out, and you haven't got this kind of long thing. It's all my own fault, basically. You know, it's a difficult second album type of thing. It's kind of yeah. just. It got out of control, and then we just shrunk it back again, and now we're we're pretty <laughs> much on set. Yeah, it's a, it's a big game. I mean, this is this is quite a small game in comparison, and that's why it was fun. On a page, finish on another page, and then you know you're done. And yeah, uh, it was a good fun. But yeah, Black and Rock for Easter, I think. And uh, if oh, if it doesn't happen, then I'm I'm I'm, qu I'm quitting. I'm quitting life for good. <laughs> quitting know, life. It's got <laughs> yeah, it's got on too long. You'll find me at the church one day. Come and come and bring me some roses you or something. Send the stone with your arms cut off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with old right here. <laughs> so this is Nick. this is um this is old Jonathan. This the face of Nicholas. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I just go back for for, for a brief? Do you yeah, have a big round? I'm just gonna have a, a round of applause for the main character taking a photo and just seeing this little dust bunny in his lens and going, that might be a speck of dust. It's not necessarily an orb. <laughs> because I've, I've yeah. watched all those ghost hunter shows and yeah. every time they go, that's an orb, you're flying about. No, you idiot, there's ghosts. There's, there's, yeah. there's, there's dust in the room. Rain isn't a ghost. No, I, mean, going by I think it was the, I think it's because digital cameras came out, what, like 10, 15 years ago and everyone got them and it was almost like, <gasps> they were like, oh my god, what is this? This is magic. But bit by bit, they realized they're actually just photographing big fly and camera strands. It's, it's almost like that, is that hearing... memes picture. Is this ghosts? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, like people hearing voices when they just record nothingness or, or record static off the TV and they see faces. It's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. So that's, that's uh, actually so... my favorite stuff is the audio stuff. I, I still think this something to magnetic tape and, and uh, white noise and that kind of stuff. It's uh, a grasping yeah. at straws. But, it's uh, fascinating. It's I won't lie, it is fascinating watching them uh, go into um, uh, I don't know, audacity and uh, magnifying audio. That's just like literally a flat line when you import it, just magnifying it all the, as much as they can until they hear someone yeah. going, get out of my fucking room. <laughs> yeah, my, my favorite. My favorite is always the thousand-year-old ghosts are all speaking perfect English. I mean, That's always the best yeah, voices yeah. to find. Yeah. Ask each other. Can you look into this video camera? Yeah. <laughs> And ghosts, if, if, they, if they do, it's like, the, if, uh, if ghosts do exist, they must be so tired of people strap. walking into rooms going, can you tap this wall for me, please? Lots no, of jump scares, no, please. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell. Yes. Strange shadow. Your is not my shadow. And there's no obvious hey, source. is that dude wearing a baseball cap? No. I think all the ghosts are like, uh, Bill from Lamplight City at this point. You ask for a demonstration, just fuck you. <laughs> I love. I gotta say, I love the atmosphere of this. I love the oh, yeah. art direction of this. Yeah. I, I, One of the never, things that was fun in um, doing 3D was obviously being able to actually move the camera. It was um, my my other stuff's all basically point and click 2D. You know, quite flat. So as soon as I put my first 3D camera into the level, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But uh, <laughs> I have actually tried to keep sweeping movements yeah. to a minimum because although they're fun at first and, and quite dramatic, you know, you. You get, especially like if you when you're playing the game after a while, you know they can get quite tedious having to watch all these camera sweeps. So as oh, the yes. plot progresses, yeah, as the plot progresses, the transitions get faster and faster in an attempt to try and you know build some pacing just with very quick crossfades and then eventually hard cuts. Good. Uh, that's What's... that's actually, that's very very clever because uh, like early 3D games, uh, like uh, Anachronox, for example, yes, Storm game, yes, just has oh, God. massive. Yeah. Sweeps so all the time and in yeah. you know, like 120 uh, FOV and you, you, you get a lot of the living you get to see the, every the single thing track. you do. I doubt and then yeah, as the game progresses Make and we, we're the snapping leader. quickly between action, doing. it should uh, it should certainly speed up the gameplay. I'm trying not to think of anything. To do. What's to come? Jeez. No, yes. spoil away, spoil away. Well, I need the money. Actually, spoil. <laughs> <laughs> She's so obnoxious with that phone. There's, there's zombies, plague goes later, oh. there's uh, wood oh. sprites, there's loads coming up it's later on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spoil away. Okay. Colors, yes. Yeah. Colors, yes. Aslan, Aslan. Oh, yeah, he's in there somewhere. <laughs> Come on, enough scenes. I think there's more color in this than any other game so far. Mm. 
Actually, I found I found feedback at this point quite interesting because this was a new way of presenting conversations. I didn't want to do the usual uh, yeah. block of text down the line, yeah. left hand side. I thought if I go with pictures, let's see how we go on. And weirdly, no one's actually commented on the the new conversation buttons whatsoever yet. So I'm taking that as a good thing. I think it is good, you know. It's yeah, because we're back to uh, the old uh, uh, the line of dialogue. Sam and Max hit the road. Yeah. In the I mean, you don't know exactly what the main character is going to say, but you have sort of a general idea of where he's going to go with the uh, uh, question. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did something of the same. I mean, remove the use of inventory, although there's still what? so they don't panic and they can see what they're carrying. But Nigel now will just use an item he needs when he's got it. Or, yeah, I thought it'd be easier, you know, if you're, missing. if you're carrying the item, well, just use the item, unless it's a puzzle, you yeah, know, where you're required to pick the right sure, things in the right order or something. Those old candles lit. Mm. Also, could I you please, yeah, um, uh, Syriar in the, in the chat has, has Syria, a yeah. These guys have been talking for a while now, could she please turn the fucking She's flashlight very obnoxious off? with that phone, yes. Yeah. yeah, the light of God shining out of her hand there. Yeah. <laughs> You've got oh, a God. million candles. Do you need the phone, honestly? <laughs> She'll soon be moaning that she ran out of battery power. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The place will look great. Yeah. She's got it coming. Brexit Britain again. Start with the altar. It's the main focus tonight. Yes, I will start with the altar if I've not gone fucking blind by the time I find it. Sir, I mean, uh, she's partly like begging for help, but also mass? it's like a full-on interrogation. Right? Yeah. It's yeah. Right. <laughs> the weather is devilish. There are four thousand lights. Okay. Where did they all go? Here we go. Who? The congregation. Oh, it's true. I'll probably get a little bit of movement in these cameras, I think, for the finished one. At least a bit of a zoom in while they're talking, or a couple more transitions. Yeah, I can see that. My characters in the in the background, how exciting! One of your characters. Yes, the only one behind the candles, blowing away. There's no one The old vicar. The old rector. Sorry. The old rector. Chop chop. Yeah, I'll be. Well, we'll bring him up. We'll bring him up on the screen right now. As we can look at these, I'm sure. There we go. If I can drive Nigel, there we go. I don't think you're the first priest to hide away in here. I know. Have you seen them? I feel quite unworthy. <laughs> 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 Yay! I'm calling People it. She's very girl. pleased to hear that I am. So again. Yeah. Obviously, that was a, a very actually, exciting point for fans. Yeah, the same song, oh, yeah. you, you guide night and that's great. Okay. Oh, joy. <laughs> uh, before, before we leave the room altogether, can we just take a moment to appreciate the owl statue on the desk? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's, oh that's, that's Is that Cedric? <laughs> is it actually oh, Cedric? No. He's, not, he's not wearing a vest, but it is very close. <laughs> I'm hearing. I'm not hearing a confirmation, but I'm not hearing a denial either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know who Cedric the Owl is. I'm Who's sorry. Cedric? I don't. I don't oh, know. Oh, from King's Quest. Yeah. Uh, no, this is Tawny. He will also be making an you appearance. You don't know in me. <laughs> okay, we'll start. Uh, he's with the, the bane of everyone who's played King's Quest. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let us start with you. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll just be off for a second. I need to get a drink of water. No worries. Uh, have fun. One thing I will say, going back to the original Crown game, I love how you did the game environments with the real photos from Polpero. It's yeah. very unique. How, how did you think of that? I've always wanted to ask you that. Um, I've, I've always had a bit of a weird obsession with film backdrops and back projection, you know, like old movie style web video. And, and then in, even in modern TV, you know, where, when there's a scene or anything and there's a view out the window, I'm always looking and just thinking, that's weird, you know, because is that a real place? Could you go there? As yeah. Like that? yeah. Try and do something like that and, and, and just cut out the photographs, but try and paint out as much kind of uh, modernity as possible, as it were, and present somewhere as just being kind of like timeless that you can actually go to. And that's where the photographs worked quite well, because people could see it was like, oh, that is actually a real place. Yeah, people and do people, go there now. People, <laughs> Yeah, it's extraordinary, you know, it gets, it gets quite a few met. visitors each year or based on the Crown games and um, they do find it really strange that it is very much like a little game world. I mean, you can take in the whole little uh, the, the village basically in half an hour, but um, it has plenty of little alleyways and, 
and secrets and nooks and crannies and so uh yeah. and it's kind of just set in the middle of nowhere along the coast the best yeah. way to get there is by water so um it is a magical little place so it was i kind of like was just lazy really i just thought you know use this there you go. Because it happens just also, yeah, it happens to be on my doorstep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Actually. Well, that's cool. And I just thought, do black and black and white because I just thought, well, it suits yeah. what's happened to Nigel the character. It is a, it is a, uh, I don't like the word limbo. I think it's a bit simple, but yeah, it is a place where different people of different times find themselves and uh, to sort some kind of problem out before they they yeah. pop back out into the world. I love that. And, I love uh, that. Battle. Never yeah, it, it's, it's handy as a, as a device because it just means you can have different characters of, of different Never. tones. You can have some very modern characters and there's some really stuffy, ealing comedy type characters. It's a, it's a bit of a mix. And the thing I like writing the dialogue for is, is, is where you've got two characters that are completely conflicted. And uh, there's Never. some Tudor characters from 1534 later on in this in this game. And um, Nigel's approach to them I, I, I found very amusing to write. No it was, uh, yeah. They don't know what yeah. gluten is, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I think that like, you're trying to explain Brexit to them, and it's just it, it, it gets quite amusing, really. Oh, mate, but still like, creepy, yeah, obviously, very like, creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of um, I think it was Catherine when you say when Nigel says, "I'm not a TV chef," and she has no idea what that is. Yeah, the oh, hedge witch yeah. character. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. We've got a question in the chat from Dan Nastic. Where do you draw inspiration from when making games? I don't know about good deeds. Uh, for this one in particular, it's from an M.R. James ghost story called A Warning to the Curious, which is about buried in the landscape by the Anglo-Saxons to stop the British Isles or whatever being uh, invaded by foreigners. So it's strangely topical at the moment. It's, um, it's basically all about the fact you don't go looking for things you're not supposed to find. Are all treasures supposed to be dug up and what are the consequences? And so uh, Nig Nigel's time in Saxton, his actions in the first game now give... Uh, I'm not saxon anytime yeah. soon until he puts Isn't things it? right. Yeah. It's probably best That's not right. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did the thing. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you get that a lot in Popero. Did you have to? Uh, yeah, especially if I wear the cap as well. Oh, yeah. But the acoustics are excellent for singing. Are you really going yeah, to have missions? <laughs> no. <laughs> part yeah. fun. Absolutely. The show must Dan Mastic says, very interesting. Thanks. Hear that? I think one of the reasons Nigel comes across as, as pompous as he does is I used to have quite a quiet obsession with Edwardian ghost hunting characters. They were always men. Yeah. They'd always go off basically to do these things for no absolute reason apart from to still find some monastery somewhere and uh, yeah, um, nothing good ever happened to them. They always, they always had that funny tone with everyone. Go away or I'll have you locked up. Like that guy um, who led the Borley Rectory sort of investigation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And on the, on the subject of um, real life ghost hunting, um, is it true that you actually did some research by going out with some paranormal investigators? Because if you have, we I need did to when hear we started, something. Oh. We started ghost hunting during the original first crown game yeah. and used some of the strange sounds that were picked up in, as the EVP and um, the orbs that are seen in game. What? Are the ones what captured in? About a out and it's a mist of flowers. So were there bit, the yeah, it, or if there happened to be a passing spirit, they have made it into the game. Then on the audio, I think, I think we captured some. There's plenty of audio. Doors. Doors. We're left oh, well, in well, the game. It was obviously the obvious, obvious plot right? device stuff, but there's an old tin. Weird oh. phrases that you hear like oh. get out and go away, help me. Actual recordings from different investigations. Wow. I had no idea about that. That that is awesome. The weirdest thing that actually happened to us was actually in this church. We went up there on oh, a Halloween, this is yeah. and it was back in the days when churches were actually open. You know, you could actually just go in at any time. So, yeah. being naughty, we kind of like went in at, or being naughty <laughs> ghost hunting characters. <laughs> we uh, we went into the church, you know, nice and late. Matt wanted to see the stone circle as well, which is just over in the other field. I don't even remember. It was a full moon. Yeah, it was I... a full moon. It was actually <laughs> really, and thinking. in the middle, of the EMF meter, you know, the thing that picks up on electro electromagnetic energy, yeah. started to go off heard of this wiring in the church you know full danvers mode but it was weird because it kept coming and going the thing about these energy things is they're not supposed to move you know you can find a cable in a wall or, or something like that but they, they certainly don't normally come and go and so we've taken that to this day it's probably been the best thing that well i think because we weren't looking for it and the uh, emf was literally just going off in the in the pocket kind of uh, that's wild experience that is wild. 
So leading from that, um, leading into a question from Got Grog. Uh, do you guys believe in ghosts? Ooh, I think I have to say I believe in energy. Uh, mm -hmm. That we don't just disappear and, and, and stop existing. We transform from one thing to another or our energy comes from something else. So if that's afterlife or if that's uh, spirits, I, I think that's just a way of labeling this a similar thing. I, yeah. I really like the stone tape theory where that if someone if people do the same action in the same place over and over again and the stones have the right property that you know it somehow picks up on that energy in them key moments ah yeah it's like a, oh, I, I, call, I, a I, I wandered or... into the right conversation <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, well, it's right into the deep end card cafe thank you okay i'm looking wow. for a Sorry. box name labeled keys ah oh. she He's once Nigel has found out that he where the generator where the generator is. Ah, so right, the out, generator. Okay. For the generator. Go okay. to the tower. <laughs> <laughs> tower <laughs> door. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. It's fun to see it streamed. Uh, if you head outside through the main entrance, so oh, back yeah. down the main aisle. Whoop! Oh, he's already Ooh. locked. Uh, That's okay. Locked one. Oh, blessed. Blessed of me. That's going moving too fast for me. Oh. Yeah, once the once the <laughs> lighting's on, he kind of actually comments on this one, so you don't have to because uh, it is very difficult. Okay. Life, actually. No worries. Let's have a look outside again. Shall but we? yeah, Matt, Matt was going to say it's it's really weird watching something that you know we we released no worries, so recently. Doctor, no worries. Actually playing on someone else's machine. It's like uh, it's quite it's quite cool really. Mm. It works. On another it computer. works. On another computer. <laughs> wow. It's alive. <laughs> And now we can see them. not the X. Darkness. There we go. Now this has confused a few people because obviously this mode is a point and click mode. Yeah, this is, is a kind of side point and click. So that's okay. thrown a few people. It's like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> Red candles. Very festive. <laughs> Very festive. Or it could be devil worshippers. The dodgy <laughs> framing there is because uh, there's a an... later on. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. So this is still winter minute, right? The engine first. No, this is in Unity now. Oh, it's yeah, in Unity, Unity now, right? Okay. Yeah. That explains it. I was going to say, how did you get all these different three D perspectives into winter minute? But that, that answers yeah. that question. Ah, the tower door. That's where I was going. Oh yeah. Well, it's weird. Cause, I mean, this experiment with three D has proven to me one thing: that you know, no one will be able to say to me points and clicks are dead or no one's interested in them because the most of the feedback has actually been you know where is my point and click version which yeah. is which is great because yeah. i can now say it's like well you know i i did this and all the feedback said we want the point and click version so that's going to be the priority now is although we're still doing okay lisa this, this game looks really good it is really good oh thank you Jenny looks workable maybe vicar has a key oh maybe she does maybe, maybe she, she does, does. maybe does he <laughs> Hello. Ooh, that was good. I missed it. What happened? Uh, Blink and you missed it. Yeah, yeah traditional Blink, miss. shadow beyond the keyhole. Oh, oh god. <laughs> I, lo I love those subtle little ones. You know, the ones where you're going, did I just see that or didn't I? And then you have to rewind and go, yep, yeah, there was That's someone right. there. Yep. It's like um, if anyone's right. watched the the Haunting of Hill House on Netflix, the recent one. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, I have. It's very, very good. Yeah, it's they're a in little the in the very background and under chairs and yeah, all sorts of things. It comes a little game, spot the people. I love point and click too. Got got grog. I love point and click too. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. So it's <laughs> it's been a worthy experiment, and I'll I'll still do the 3D version as well because it's um, well, it's basically the same game but without the um, without the clicks. Yeah. I think it works but really I, I, well. I quite, you know? Yeah, I, I quite enjoyed the I quite, I quite enjoyed this hybrid of uh, 3D and and point and click. I think Life is Strange did that fantastically, and I think uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to like playing. That. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's well the uh, you might they're on game two now as well. Aren't they? The dialogue's a bit cheesy. Let's just put it like that. Um, but it is, it is uh, stick with it. It's actually <laughs> a very very good game. Icky Fu Point okay. and Click Three was an unworthy I, sequel. There is nothing wrong with cheesy dialogue. 
<laughs> Maybe with a bit of ham on the side. The generator's in the tower. Mm. I'm it. actually eating a ham and cheese sandwich right now. Ah, uh, there you go. The tower? The tower? Got Grog it says it does look fantastic in 3D. Which one? And I definitely agree with that. Oh, we got some keys. Ah, oh, just a few. Oh, I got carried away. Mac, Mac, oh, oh man. <laughs> I think, I think what are you doing to me? I think you can at least half as many keys. I think you did say like six, but you know. Six? I was uh, to random just, more. I think they was to randomize just, a just different a, set. Of keys. Just a couple no, more than six. Do the whole lot. I just, I thought they'd all look too good not to use. Uh, well, so. it's, that's, that's fair you know enough. What? You, can, you, can, you, can go, you can go home for the date. No, just one more key. Just come on. More keys. I think, I think there's, there's a few spaces on the table that could do with a few more. Dan Nasty <laughs> says, Color Me Intrigued. How many fun. Nigel Danvers games are there? Is this like the third or fourth in a series? So there, this, this will is... be the third or least one. Because yeah. there'll be, there's obviously Lost Crown from 10 billion years ago. For, yep. 2007? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah and, 2007. Uh, Midnight Horror from two years ago, which is, I'd say it was about four or five hours gameplay. Some people have said it's only two. I think I like all of this <laughs> And, um, <laughs> beat the game. Uh, then Silent Night, obviously, will be out in Q1. And then my big one, Black and Rock for Easter. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, quite a lot. Quite so a that'll, lot be the, that'll be the fourth yeah. crown game. And who knows how other ones will come in the future. Obviously, we uh, have First Crown eventually, which will be the end of the series. Which is, we, back to making Crown games, uh, Jonathan wrote to the end the of the plot. series. Yeah. He wrote all the games, all the scripts, and we then spent a few years actors. recording yeah. all the characters. All the returning characters are recorded to the end. I think by that point yeah. got carried away. From and so people are wondering what happened, spent years doing that. Yeah. So that's why it was fun to write this small one and just, you know, these yeah. really well done. I love well done. this layout of, I mean, someone obviously went to the trouble of putting the keys so they don't overlap, yet just made an absolute fucking mess of it. Well, it's, the same uh -huh. it's a perfect balance, isn't it? Niv5, Maybe hello. And I also like that it somehow comes off as sort of a like a low grade IQ test every time you, you pick two and it goes, well spotted. You've done so well. <laughs> Have <much>. a biscuit. It's it's one of, it's one of those adventure game tropes that I I, I just Thank secretly you, giggle at. I know I know why it's done. It is to give the player a pat on the Two back and, and that of course you, you need you need the positive feedback. But I love every time like an adventure game player uh, or an adventure game character walks up to an object Lower and left, picks it up right. and goes and goes, That ah. can be useful. But yeah, of course it could be useful. You just picked it <laughs> Thank up. Thank you, CR. Especially Thank you. Often those ladders that they then hide away somewhere. I know, where do you put yeah, a ladder? I will get there eventually. I think guys. you're about halfway through. <laughs> well done. But that's not. You're the getting key. there. That's not the case. <laughs> uh, sheesh, where am I? Uh, All right, this. I think there should be more keys. Oh, you think? Stop right. <laughs> ah, uh huh. No. Uh huh. Yep. Got it. Yes. That's a pair. This could be a good oh. moment for Matt Clark. Yes. It's about it's a pair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no, there's, there's not enough time for that. Actually, that will be next winter. Well done. Uh, as in next. Uh, fall. Was what? that the right? You're leaving it up. Uh, bottom right. <laughs> Getting there. I can really tell you now, Matt Clark is sweating watching you having to play this. <laughs> I bet, <laughs> I bet well, you he is. I'm sweating right now, but that's because it's like 30 something degrees here at midnight, so. Ooh. Uh, oh, I think it's the one under immediately underneath it. Oh, I think we had lag. Like, in the middle, yay! Oh, they okay. match! They match. <laughs> <laughs> These look like they match. Well spotted. Thank you very well much. Spotted. Well spotted. You're getting so many biscuits by the end of this. Oh, <laughs> I'll need a tin. I'm not sure you'll want the biscuits. We'll, we'll, we'll look at them in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Licker does have biscuits available. Yeah, really? I'll, I'll give him a shot. I mean, I said... Is that, is that a slang or something? Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> it might be. The vicar has biscuits. The biscuits right? gone. Mm, the vicar has biscuits. That's... I shall see you down the graveyard. 
Come for go. the creepy ghosts, stay for the biscuits. Ooh, where's he <laughs> gone? Uh, I think back. we've lagged. Alright, where, where is the... We the last one. Ah, right, we're back. Yeah, we last one. Yeah, sorry about that. Hooray! We got the key. No. Are you coming with us? No. <laughs> no, you can go alone. Will you be alright? The aisle is blocked by an old pew. At least she's going to finally tidy up, though. Mm. Need a hand? No. They, they don't do an awful lot, actually. Now go. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> all right, okay. all right. Jeez. Find she's a, she's a bit bossy. At least she's not shining a light in our face. Yeah, that's a mercy. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Here, here we are. See ya, well done. Lag. Thank you, see ya. Thank you very much. You got some lag, do you? On the Discord? Uh, we're back. There we're you back. Go. No, yeah. we're good. Okay, let's run out of this church. Through the ghost. <laughs> Screw this, I'm off! <laughs> and this is a shock for people. Nigel can move. Yeah. Well, oh, I'm yeah. Really yeah. Knocking over tables yeah. or anything. Although you did have the double click well, skip in the first game. Yes, a uh, round of applause for the double click skip. Of course, that's a bit harder in a, in a 3D environment. Mm. That would sort of mm. reduce some immersion, I, I think. Okay. It does help now and again when people want to move around fast. Well, I mean, one of the things I'm going to enjoy doing the point and click version is also like, I get to choose the camera angles again because. It's nice, obviously, being over someone's shoulder and, and wandering around this church and stuff, but, I mean, in a wider place like the Saxton Town where I normally set things, you know, having those that wider angle is essential. You can't just be over the shoulder all the time. It's a bit yeah, on true. the vintage side, but it'll still be... It's on the vintage side. Nice. Got some light. Ooh. Oh, how I... I so, hang on. Is the point-and-click version going to be, like, a separate game? Yeah, I'm going to make two different versions. I think mean, it's the best way to make sure that, oh. you know, no you one get gets the option mixed on, up. on play to launch one or the other, I think. And plus, with the point of click, like um, Matt was saying on uh, typing earlier, is a proper festive mulch. Uh. <laughs> festive mulch, okay. All right. Uh, sorry, I think I think, I think we lost them. Did we fall out? Yeah. 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 yeah, just a little, just for a second. Before you go, chat, we just we'll get you back. Okay, let's look at this vintage. Yeah, it's, right. it's an interesting, interesting approach. It's kind of like those those early days of you got a game on discs and then you got a game on CD-ROM. The CD-ROM would have all these fancy yeah. FMV yeah. sequences and animations and, the, and shit. The and talkie voices versions. And the is, yeah. yeah, weirdly, I haven't thought about that, but that is very true. I mean, the difference between even when the DVDs of multi-CD versions came out, it was a very different experience. Like, I to disc Maybe it's busted after all. Quote, unquote, I'll enjoy lowering the specs. I think that'll be fair. That's the big challenge for me. Hmm. Ah, that'd be a problem. Sorry, I, Fuel I should mute the microphone. I'm just eating Oil this cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. If that's, if that's the only voice coming through, that would be terrible. So I think you need a few things for the generator. You need I uh, think I do too. fuel and oil, and they're hidden around the tower. All right, well, let's go check out the tower. I mean, it's a nice place. Oh, is that a chest? Can I open the chest? No. Mm. Hello. Not yet. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hello. Pinpoint the phenomena. Lucy says, "I like these puzzles inspired by real puzzles. I'm looking forward to the slide puzzle." No. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are we? Why would you say that? <laughs> I, that. I thought slider we were friends. Puzzles. Slider puzzles. No slider puzzles. I love slider puzzles. I can't solve slider puzzles ever. I honestly would rather, so and I think Icky Fu can agree with me here, that I would rather a slider puzzle than a maze. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Maze yeah. Have to choose. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's just asking which part of your what body do you want to nail to the floor? It's, <laughs> yeah, it's the lesser of two evils, but only barely. Timed maze. A timed maze. Yeah. You have to solve a slider puzzle to get out of. Yeah. Oh god. You have to make a game that would be hated. <laughs> that is evil. Yeah, that is evil. And we've got... Alright, this is the source of the Christmas card. Ah. ah, the ravens are throwing him out there. They're just littering. Uh-huh. 
I think the Ravens postal is a paper service cut hazard. downhill a bit. They're hiring Ravens now. Shitty postal service. It will be fun Close to play the Merry point Christmas. version first and then go back and explore the game in 3D. I, I agree. That'll be fun to do. Yeah. Well, you will be able to. I mean, at this point, I'm wondering if it's... I mean, I've created a map for outside and there's lots of hints and, and things on the map that I know I'm not going to be going to in the point and click, but it's the perfect place to put everyone's favourite, the, the steam... And, uh, oh, and just yeah. bits and bobs, maybe a few extras. Ah, the fuel. That looks like fuel. And matches right next to it. Someone planned to start. Yeah, that's handy. To burn the cards. <laughs> uh, so someone had tried to burn the cards in the past. Oh. Uh, in, in. The, the, the Bravens rescued the cards and are distributing them evenly <laughs> amongst the children. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure I looked at everything up here. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out now. I think. The ravens are the actual heroes of the story. Not all heroes <laughs> wear capes. Bong. Some of them have wings. Some of them have wings, that's right. Mm. Got a sack rising and falling now. That sounded sound worse coming out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right, you need to find engine oil, and it is on this bomb floor hidden around the corner here. Engine oil. Nearly there. Oh, no, no, you're it's nearly there. Head, warmer. Head back in here. Turn right. Aha, here we there. go. Perfect. That's engine. where they put it. That's obviously where you keep Next to the shampoo. Oh, and it levitates. <laughs> That's the best kind That's of oil. That's Nig Nigel's power again. I know. Mm. Power of the mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no think I can't get over how, how, how fascinating this is that there's going to be a, a standard 2D point and click version and a full 3D version of this game. I, some I of the puzzles. I mean, no, that's, that's going to be so. Some of the puzzles are going to be, be so. Like, some of the really difficult puzzles in the 3D will be super easy in the 2D and vice versa. Like finding the, the engine point oil. To, the point and click mode will still. The point and click version will still be using the 3D world. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. But it will be fixed camera positions and, and regular. Respect. It'll be, yeah, lower spec. We won't need the landscape as wide in a point and click mode. If you... We've we got a question necessary. from Kay Lisa. How long did it take to create okay. and develop this game? Uh, I wrote the story uh, this time last year. I did actually aim to release the game in Easter, but we, as usual, we got sidetracked by actual work, sadly. Oh, Boo hoo. Uh, and then literally just, I think, probably the last two months. So a couple of months, yeah. Three, three months in total. Nothing. Maybe it's busted after all. Uh, that's oil. pretty fast, actually. Mm. That is that is pretty damn fast. It took me uh, four months to do my first uh, point-and-click game in Adventure Game Studio, it. and it was and it was hideous. Uh, mainly because I had to draw the graphics myself, but yeah, I've also been... because it was hideous. Um, I, I am relying on a few assets, like it's this generator. I think was from. Uh, I seem to remember, and I've, I've only skinned it slightly to put in a bit of a. A comment on my Steam upload uh, joke from the other week. Uh, a bit, quite, just a little bit of skinning on that one to basically just get it to look like it was more in the that world I was some making. Power I, uh, for a while. What other some power, guys. You may... We've got oh. the power. Yay! But yeah, there's a few things I just think you know, life's too short to build your own rocks and. If there's, if there's <laughs> things available, save time. Spoken like a true 3D animator. Life is too short to be building your own rocks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a t shirt slogan. Matt's the one that's obsessed oh, with yeah. rocks. Uh, rocks. Yeah, but I, I'm less Special interested rocks. in rocks. That's probably why you did the tomb. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. I mean, the, the ghosts really aren't that interested in keeping themselves in the shadows, are they? They're what ghosts. ghosts. Yeah, what do you, yeah, what do you yeah. mean? What do you mean, dude? <laughs> I think, I think, I think pretty, pretty much anyone that ever did anything in Norfield is is available as a ghost that night, as it Oh, were. that's cool. And, oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah, so they, they don't need to keep themselves hidden because we're already in a kind of a, a, a big shift and obviously technically we're... Engineer with power that. generator. That's me, Surreal. That's me. That's what also, it is... Uh, cool. I, I've noticed phenomenally what? hard to make convincing ghost shadows in, in, in 3D. Um, some some games don't even uh, seem to bother. Uh, I think these are very very well rendered. Uh, they've got yeah, that sort of I agree with that sort of shimmery effect to it. I and think you see the front of them too. See that? Yeah. 
my favorite ghosts in in the 3D world has to be uh, Fatal Frame or Project Zero. Oh so, yeah, oh, yeah. I love the Fatal Frame. Absolutely. Frames. Really. I mean, sure. they were terrifying. I, I was just gonna ask, is there any sort of inspiration because I see some similarities in the way you play uh, the ghosts too? Yeah, ghosts. Fatal Frame. Uh, I I really like Siren and especially Siren Two. To this day, still gives me nightmares. Uh, Card Cafe. Just really is that a question, horror question horror for me or for the for Darkling Room Card Cafe? What was the first adventure game you ever played? Um, I, it was a game on the Spectrum ZX. It was called um, Mystery of Arkham Manor. And the Ooh. thing I liked about it, it had day-night cycles and you could sleep in the inn and you went to investigate the ghost uh, churchyard. So yeah, I'd say that was a massive influence. And yeah, that was on Spectrum ZX. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know if I've heard of that one. <laughs> Spectrum. Oh. I think mine mine was that thing, uh, the Commodore 64 game where you controlled the human torch and the thing, and they kept getting stuck in tar mud. <clears throat> or in a tar Ooh. pit. Could not get there. That sounds a lot of fun. It was terrible. <laughs> what was your it first was a fun thing? I used to play a... a uh, I think it was called Jacaranda. That was a long time ago, and... Jacaranda. Yeah. What was it about? Oh, it was so far back, I've forgotten half of the thing. Where's everybody gone? <laughs> um, and then... I've never heard of Jacaranda. I wonder if I can find it. It's probably out there somewhere. I just remember trying to lead a, a, a cow around. When you really into Ultima? Is that Ultima? I used to play the Ultima games and... Um, Dungeon crawling. Nikifu. Can't remember if we got Monkey Island or Space Quest 3 first in my house. No need to disturb uh, the vicar. But Ikifu was a very young person. I think my first was probably King's Quest 6. We've got two very young people in the house. <laughs> Mine would have been Quest for Glory 4. Okay, everyone is younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first adventure game that got me back into playing them again, actually, probably would be, you know, the big one. It'd probably be Mist. Mm. Hey! I just thought, when I was playing it, I just thought, wow, I'm just standing in a woods listening to birdsong. You know, this, there could be something in this. I actually just thought, well, maybe done, not everyone wants to play every, the other games at the time, and, and this could be a thing. Mm -hmm. Well, you are in the presence of the Mist historian. Uh, Jeff <laughs> has, has recently Yay. played all of them and somehow likes them. Not all of them. <laughs> did you? Did you read? Them? I love them. <laughs> oh, I've I, got I, a question. I read the first one. Uh, I I need to get my hands on the other two. I've got them. I have them too. And then... It's a shame that um, Uru actually. Because I thought they were quite cool as well. Yeah, yeah Uru, uh, Uru. I, I recently yeah. forced these guys to play Uru with me. Um, I don't think they. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was I fun. think it was it Path of ah. the Shell. I think it was the last one. That was good. Yeah, Path of Yay, the Shell. Yeah, Power Puzzle. Oh, who designed this electrical board? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is chip. This is good Cornish one. This is clearly not a power hazard at all. Nah. Yeah. It's a Switch. Hang on, that looks that's that sounds like a throwback to Miss. Two hundred and thirty volts. That why yeah. is that familiar? Yeah, the, gen the generator puzzle always hangs heavy yeah. in, in the <laughs> puzzle creation. I think the solution to this is all the switches on the left and the two on the, the right. two on the right. Just avoid the rectangle. And avoid the, the rectangle as, yeah. as long as I don't avoid, burn avoid this place middle. down. Don't. Oh, sorry, cutscenes are there for a reason. That's very true. Have I gone over it? Uh, flipping switches. We are definitely into missed territory. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Oh shit, it exploded! <laughs> oh, I love the sparks. Good news, cool. the lights are on. That was Bad news, we've been burnt to a crisp. <laughs> I think you have gone over. I've gone over. Yeah, head back to the switches. You pressed the dreaded rectangle. Too many Oh, on. that was the rectangle? I thought the rectangle was the big... Matt one. Right, so you thing. want all the three on the left and the two on the right. Um, um, these two. You want to let oh. the needle literally just on the line. Wow. So I was oh, yeah. just over. Okay. Yeah. 
cool. Okay. When this demo first came out, the uh, the solution on the wall was completely wrong. <laughs> I, uh, really helpful. And then I had to post publicly, the solution yeah. to this puzzle it is... is... Mr's underrated. Is Mr's very underrated, Kay, and the card cafe. What? At least in this group, it's underrated. None the wiser. <laughs> for most of us. <laughs> for one of us, it's yeah, apparently it. overrated. Yeah. I don't mind being underrated. It's, 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 it's quite a cokey place. Come up with this. That gamma phone is possessed. That's a yikes from Nigel. Well, and her priorities are all over the place. <laughs> they, they really are. Very true. She's slightly confused about she's, what's going on. She's got on the big show to pop. Nothing she does. Stop you can play the third. Show. Not the day before Christmas. It's not Christmas At Eve. At least put on some mittens. Deathly cold. We have to warm this place up best we can. Oh, d no, no, don't put ideas in her head. She's going to set all the pews on fire or some shit. <laughs> I love how sort of in denial she is. Whenever he goes to say what's actually happening, she just cuts him off. Cuts yeah. him off and walks away. Yeah. Well, she's, she's the kind of first one of the ghosts in the story. You know, she's the ghost of Christmas future. Uh... But she's tied it up, so we have to give her that. Oh, yeah. Spoiler. Well, well it's not, you it's know what? It's <laughs> we are I in... should have guessed Ghost uh... of Christmas Future from the iPhone she had. Ah. <laughs> Also, I mean, it, you would think someone would be a little nonplussed, uh, or uh, the opposite of that, actually, a, a little disturbed by the fact that, oh, by the way, you've got this, these, these hordes of ghosts in your front lawn. Uh, do you want me to do something about that? Ah, that's coming up. Yeah, it's also... Nigel doesn't do point. anything for free. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Just the howling wind. Well, let's go say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get to the vestry and see what she's done there. At least you can now walk around the church. Yeah, there's quite oh, a lot of yeah. clues to her predicament coming up. Let's have a look. I'm, I'm dead sure she's set something on fire. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> she's done a great job with the place, I must she's say. finally tied it up. Raw. Oh, like so many the, things happen. <laughs> the red mood lighting, though. All right, now you can get your oh, biscuits. Yeah. There's oh, the biscuits. Oh, all right. I'm gonna get them. Go. Oh, remember the key puzzle. Remember the key puzzle. I did earn it, didn't I? Yay. There you go. And you They're get a select poison. The biscuits are soft. Take all the biscuits. Biscuit. Yeah. All burn <laughs> custard cream. Was, uh, what's that one? Digest. Took the digestive there. I, know. <laughs> oh, I, would, <laughs> Very I nice. would not eat the cream one if they're a week old. Don't eat the cream one. Oh, that'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. Totus, thank you for the donation. Thank you very much. We are currently at $154.96 for Girls Make Games. That deserves Yay! a round of applause. Woo! Golf clap all around. Okay. Cheers. I've had my biscuits now. So this, <laughs> this, have a cup of tea. <laughs> this is a good indicator to this thing. You click mode. Yeah. Where you've got just Nigel's static and you've got the rollovers to look for in the scene. Yeah. Oh, look, her battery is dying. Yeah, she shouldn't have left the flashlight on. Exactly. Yeah. Celtic Corner. I remember the Celtic Corner. Wait a minute. Yeah. Place on the sea? Saxon. Paxton? Saxton. They don't have many shops and Reese is no... I might try and get enough. Oh. As well, actually. I feel like... Yeah. yeah. Lucy Phonic, no <laughs> jammy dodges. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna have to add that. That's that's gonna have to be. I think I think they're really <laughs> ruthless. They can't. are so heavily <laughs> trademarked since Doctor Who. Oh yeah, they are, aren't they? They would be. Uh, this isn't the Celtic so no corner I remember. No. No. Mm. Oh, well, there's several. Oh, but never mind. <laughs> 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 the Celtic Wasabi, please. Uh, Parsons, Parsons, Wasabi, please. Oh. Wasabi, please. Yeah. <laughs> that was horrible. Good. I apologize for that I'm pun. Icky <laughs> food. Just because Richard Cobbett's gone doesn't mean somebody has to take up his mantle. <laughs> well, I thought I'd keep the spirit alive. It, we got Icky food. Did Jelly Beans suffer a similar fate from Doctor Who? Mate, uh, that'd be Tom <laughs> Baker, right? Uh, jelly babies, jelly not babies. jelly beans. Jelly babies. Jelly yes. babies. Yes. yes, jelly yeah. babies. What is going on here? Okay. And weirdly, it was Patrick Trout's Doctor first. 
at the Jelly Babies. Oh, yeah. 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 He did too, did The three he? doctors. There's hot tea in the flask. If you fancy oh, a cup good old hot tea. I'll have a hot tea. Tea a lot of people it's packed in trail trail trail. Oh, that's creepy. Mm. That's really creepy. When she... That the way that was executed just then. I don't know if anyone else caught that, yeah. but when she, when she says have some hot tea and he says it's stone cold, that got me. That really got me. Mm. I love that That's sort of so stuff. That's so creepy. Can, can we can we get in her face, please? Oh my God! Uh, I see we have company. You mean Mr. Egg yeah. up here? Nah. No, I thought I thought the uh, uh, the figure in the middle. Oh, oh, nice glowing eyes. <laughs> I thought the uh, uh, I thought there was a figure in the middle. A figure? Oh, is that just a? She's yeah, it just looks like oh, she's things. just clothes are still soaked. They just oh, it's come just and go. Oh, it's okay. just a decapitated just... midget. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I just You'll thought I had any ghosts that just out. sort of wandered in, just having a look at the fireplace. He's going. I think gonna... there's a good there's a good comment on the clock. The clock, oh. yes. That's, it's Where's the yeah. Clock? Where am I? Here we go. Up there. Oh, I like that. Twenty to midnight. Mm. What? The clock. It's stuck. Stuck? It's just stopped. <laughs> oh, battery, probably. <laughs> oh, I don't it think oh so. yeah, it's stopped. Yeah. Ugh. Which is probably why it stopped. <laughs> She's definitely in denial. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Very much We're so. We're definitely uh, in a strange future limbo. Face up to it, woman. You're dead. <laughs> Good luck on or your Or she's just playing trouble. Clueless. Oh, hello. What have we got here? Hints. So you've arrived on the 23rd. What have you been doing all this time? Not a lot. Except trying to keep warm. Yeah, just finding loads of keys for I us to look through. Okay, yeah. Lisa, soups on, no boys. Avail. Wait. The orange flashing lights. Soups on! I thought it best soups to always on. Parishioners of the snow what's what's no that mean? <laughs> I'm not alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, explain this I'll, I'll let the one Space Quest historian explain this one. I'm sure I can manage it. Aha. Uh -huh. What uh, flavor soup? I've got the Chuck. Uh, Chuck. 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 <laughs> oh, sounds painful. Um, have you lads ever played uh, the Eleventh Hour, the sequel to the Seventh? Quest? Oh yeah. The oh. animation and the, the face comes out of the pan. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. So we did. Uh, um, I did a commentary uh, let's play of it where we just watched the movie the horrendous horrendous movie in that game and by the end of it my co-commentator Frederick said it is difficult to keep the house warm CR definitely if, if soups if soups on doesn't become a meme by the end of 2018 uh, this was all for nothing so <laughs> we have done our best to interject soup all right in, I'll uh, do one later on. <laughs> okay. fantastic going to miss you <laughs> that lot no, I'll be actually, if, if, if the final version of this game ends up with a soups on Hell Easter egg no. in it, I will shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, he... Sorry. Easy. It was uh, bad behavior. Make a note. Another, another, <laughs> another, <laughs> another <laughs> seven a pigeon in that broth. Uh, well. Oh, we've got the equivalent well, later. Yeah, there's another cookery puzzle. So. Oh, is there, right? There there is. Yeah. Yeah. Put an Easter egg in the cookery. Oh, God, I love this. No, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, no I was talking to short. Steve from Here Infamous I Quests, and it, I was oh, yeah. joking. Yeah, I was I was joking about. Uh, he, he he said he had coded something into his game, and he was so proud of it, and uh, and he couldn't show us because it was kind of a spoiler. But ooh, he's so excited for us to see it. And I just flippantly said, "Oh, is it a cheat code that you know turns the character into a giant penis?" And he says, "Nope, but that's going in the game." <laughs> Okay. And yeah. ten minutes later, he said. <laughs> so well, I am Brosin with the fifteen dollar donation, bringing us to one hundred and sixty nine dollars and ninety six cents. Thank you for the donation. Woo. Thank you, Thomas. Oh, Thomas Agar. Yes, yes. Good old Thomas. Yeah, the, that painting's a bit of a clue coming up very shortly. Uh, not in the demo, but uh, it's it's kind of a clue for later on in the. One of yeah, the, there's, a bit of a code. there's a bit of a Da Vinci-ish type moment with a, a code in the painting. Oh. Okay, Lisa has a question reason. as well. We've got, are you guys okay. working on any other games? Plenty. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> two. we've got this side this of night going and on. and Black and Rock, and that is it. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by... No, I'd like to do... I'd like to... 
Packing Mac could get his uh, triptych of well, Celtic horrors, wherever they're supposed to be, out of the way. Yeah, and then I think I'd like to do another Dark Force, because I'm nearly in an anniversary yeah. year for Dark Force. Oh, that'd uh, be great. Oh. You know, what was it? Was it was like 20 years ago oh, this night. Oh, and, uh, so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I well, think just keep it really classic. This is me. Mm. Classic point and click again. I think it'd be really cool. I'm seeing it on the pier, which I've already said. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'd like to introduce a bit more science to the ghost hunting. You know, some of the stuff that people are genuinely nice. doing, not just the ghost shows. So it's, that'll be it, dark, full storm morning. Yeah. Whenever I move, the eyes seem well good. creepy. Which mm. eyes is that? Ikifu? Is it Aegis eyes? They are creepy. I, I he, love he's a creep. <laughs> I love the idea of two people just standing in a sitting room, uh, sh or one of the, one is sitting down, and the other standing, and just shuffling around nervously while he inspects <laughs> everything, everything yeah. in the room. What's wrong with that? Typical, typical <laughs> English living room. You know what game I was really um, um, looking forward to this is the Glastonbury Firewood. one. Firewood. I was checking that out not long ago. Oh, yes. It looks really good. Bit. Yeah, I mean, been cagey about the content. Like hands. Well, mm -hmm. it was actually just—I mean, the level was an experiment because I just—I didn't want to work on any of the projects I already liked because I thought if it—if it goes wrong, you know, I'd be looking at it and hating it and hating my. In the Carrion Woods. Yeah. Make something else just completely yeah. crazy. So I just thought, what about a square mile of the English countryside? If you can pull it. I was quite surprised by the results, and I thought, well, let's give the Crown one a go. So that's what this has turned into. Nice. Uh, but ultimately, I'd love to go back to Glastonbury because it's. The, the hub it's just a hub level basically the tour because then it, it, you branch off into four other levels which we're, we we don't have to be two cages about but it's basically i used to really like those old cryo games where you'd be whisked off to either egypt or south american jungles or or somewhere just very yeah. cool and exotic so it's basically just a it's a it's a hub location as a, that goes off to other locations that we're quite looking forward to making because i don't know unity is just so nice to work in in comparison to what we we've been used to it's just you could it's feel for the imagination i can try Perhaps mm. pick up the local radio. radio time. Yes, maybe a weather report. Durindy plays. Maybe Excuse me while I fondle all your stuff. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> oh my God, the uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the <laughs> Discord just <laughs> caught you up after, uh, or caught you off after you said, uh, please excuse Was me while I fondle all your stuff. <laughs> yeah, <I> know, <laughs> <laughs> Discord just. Damn it, Discord. Discord is going. I'm not having that. Discord oh. has a good sense of comedic timing. It does, yes. it does, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. This is the oh, I think you're wrong. Oh, here I come. Is <laughs> <laughs> this you, Matt? It is. <laughs> nice. See, Christmas Eve, like I said. Mm. It's Ugh. a cult, like a recording. <laughs> I mean, she's basically selling us a lie. Mm -hmm. Do you feel free to change the radio channel as well, if you get oh. fed up with me? Okay. I think it's that button. It is. It's it's that button. One. You've got a selection. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think this is, ah, your, this is your nana, isn't This it? is my nan. Oh, <laughs> oh, 28 going we've on. Got a, we've got a year now. <laughs> she had absolutely no idea what we were asking her to do. We just like, read this script. <laughs> it's, again, it's an it's, it's, it's 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 information for puzzle on how to make like, a fruit cake. Why am I sitting oh. in the cupboard again? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, Nana. It's all fine. Yeah. Poor it's Nana. all part of it. <laughs> Don't worry, Nan. It's, it's, it's one of those delightful little uh, children's games that I'm making. Cedric needs uh, dusting well. by Dan Nastic. She uh, she calls video games uh, what's called game shows. Game um, game shows. <laughs> so <laughs> so good. Oh, that's so good. And then we have to explain what we do. It's like no, we don't make. It. Well, I mean, there was the end of the eleventh hour. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Let's make a deal. Uh, let's not talk about that. We do not speak of it. <laughs> the soup is off. <laughs> Trolls never. Mm -hmm. nah, just, just kidding. The soup is always on. <laughs> you know, you know, you Wonder never say we... that. Yeah, that was a little you. word there for a second. No, soup, soup is on. I, I, uh, I, I, 
I don't like soup. Not even chuck soup? No. Kick him. Kick him now. How about a mod? Do we have a mod to kick him, please? I actually don't think you do. Oh, wait. Sur Suryar is in the uh, Twitch. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a Twitch I'm mod. I'm only kidding, Suryar. Yeah, of course. No, no, let's, let's not kick. We, we, we need him around for when his, he's supposed to start streaming. Um, <laughs> I just remembered. I forgot. I knew it. You only want me to my streams. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. hello, ghost. What do you mean? You, you, keep, you keep saying that, but there's nothing there. Look. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Have we collected the map? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure the vicar wants me to find some wood. Pretty sure Ooh, she does. Uh, oh. And what better place well, I was to go wrong. Than... She, she didn't set something on fire, but she is going to. <laughs> yeah, she has They never yet. do anything so. Mm -hmm. She's a twisted fire star. Only there was some wood somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, if only there was uh, a plus wood. Plus one for the uh, plus one for the prodigy reference. Thank you for that. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That was one of my favorite albums growing up, and I recently picked it up on vinyl, and I have not had the courage to play it loud yet, but Wait, I will. Did I pick up a map of the area? Is that what happened before? If you press M on the keyboard or ah. on the controller or gotcha. the middle mouse button down, you bring up the map. Gotcha. Oh, That's... good. We can go to a medieval That's plague pit. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to go to a medieval plague pit. Well, you that will. is your dream, Which isn't is it, Trolls? Trolls? That's your, that's your dream. <laughs> oh, okay. no, I, just, I just love the fact... I just, I just, I just love it. It has such common. Like, here's the church. Here's the graveyard. Here's the medieval plague pits. <laughs> just gonna stand really? in front of the tower. So we are here. You can't see. That's the gonna person. be the school's next field trip. <laughs> so... Would you like to go to the memorials? No. The How about the bird reserve? No. How about the fields? No. How about a medieval plague pit? Off to the right. Okay. Did you try the carrion woods? Oh wait! Actually, right, children, we're going off to the reason. plague pit. Make sure to get this permission slip signed by your parents. The footpath. <laughs> oh, those <laughs> people knocked off the, the woods into oh. a full game. How dare those, they? Those demo blocks. Unbelievable. Well, surely I can just grab some of this wood. Oh, well, there's a nice okay. convenient pile to your left. There we go. Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh, this wood looks so much nicely cut. It's just... uh, it's yeah. far, too, far too shoddy. For Why here, sir, we have placed holly upon your log. Ah, well. <laughs> <laughs> if there's holly on 20 the log. Pounds. <laughs> Thank you for the, for the logs. <laughs> that was a perfect line. All of you non-ghosts out there, thank you for the logs. A bit weird. <laughs> That's a yes. bit weird. <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> He's, he's very nonplussed about the whole thing. That was a bit weird. Yes, Always think. Suck. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very British thing, I, I have to say. It's a very okay. Ghosts everywhere. Weird lady. Crows throwing Christmas cards. A bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. No, to back. How rude. How rude. Holly on a log. His locks. Holly on a log. Hmm. I don't know about that one. No, I picked the map up on the table on the right here. Ooh, oh, ooh, there's a map ooh, for here. Ooh, ooh. Got another map for the this inside. Table. Oh, there's a map for the inside as well. Nice. Yeah. Let's have a look at this. Northfield. And then there was another map for the fields on their own at the beginning of the game, which we missed because we couldn't connect. Oh, I think I picked that up. It was on the sign, right? He took a photo of it. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you press M or X or... Uh, Ooh. And you've got the inside version. <laughs> look at that. Ooh. No plague pit. And as the game goes so, on, Nigel no. and yeah. uh, it took me hours. 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 No plague pit. But, Instant uh, fail. <laughs> little hints and comments. Oh, good. And, there's and, a lavatory no, for the biscuits. But... Nice. Okay. Oh, there's the plague pit. <laughs> <laughs> and the cult tea. Yeah, we were wrong. There is a plague pit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if we can warm up the vicar. That also sounded a bit strange yeah. coming out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And let's try, to, let's try not to set her on fire, either. Although that is clearly what she expects. You want strange. Dorinda says, I say thank you for the logs after every successful bathroom trip. <laughs> uh, oh, that they is, have that is Dorindy Plays. Issue. With Holly. That is, that is now, this will, the... this will end the demo. 
Oh, we're, we're, okay. Well, okay. By using the logs. So Perfect we, timing. Uh, we've got, what is it, 126. Oh, well, that's a different time in your time yeah. zone. How long have we got left? No, but this, we've, we've, this okay no, we've got about 30 minutes left. Okay, well, we can wander the church and chat for a bit if anyone uh, wants to. Run around outside, okay? Yeah, so we oh, haven't sorry, actually yeah. explored outside. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't actually explored oh, yeah. outside properly, have we? Let's have a look around. Card Cafe is amazing. asking, um, do you guys have any plans outside of the Lost Crown for any future game series? Oh, well, obviously we've got the Glastonbury game. Mm -hmm. uh, own. Um, which is it? It's on, no, it's, uh, it's just a standalone. Please. Um, Brackenshaw will be coming as a third in the Barra Hill games. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tour, yeah. I forgot about will that. Will be coming. Um, I mean, did you want to say anything about why that's taken longer than it's taken than far my too Crown long? Game. It's take uh, I forget how long now. It's longer, ten, longer, ten, longer but, fifty yeah. years. You, you don't get asked daily, though, do you? I like, don't. Where know. is Brackenshaw? <laughs> where is Brackenshaw? No. With capital letters, thankfully not. No. I have to admit, no, I'm we'll one be of those people. That. That's been asking about. I think it was a few few years ago when you first announced Black and Rock, but I put it in a roundabout way. I was like, "Oh wow, this looks good. I hope this is coming out soon." Just to see what you would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got some gravestones here. The gravestone is weathered and worn. Weathered. And he said that in a very grave way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry for funny, that. but that was really. Yeah. So this is actually a I demo. Think... Yes, it is summer. So and it's free to download from Steam and the website. The website's yeah, the, got it on the, there. The Crown the... website. What are these? There are two uh, lights. There are four lights. <laughs> Start two lights. <laughs> uh, so ah. I'm going to. Google for your website and put it in the chat for everyone to see. Okay. Fantastic. Thank Thanks you. Me. Thanks for that, Trolls. Is it, great pilot. is it just JonathanBokes.com or it wasn't there before? TheCrownGames.com. Is it forward oh, slash crown. Silent Night? And DarklingRoom.co.uk is another one too. Yeah, yeah. thanks. And also Shadow yeah, Tour Studios. <laughs> this is I'll part of Games for Christmas Future. <laughs> ah. I've, I've forgotten all of them. Someone else typed <laughs> those in the chat. I, I got one of them. I got the Silent Night one. Icky food. there are four tonight. Please don't, man. Um, Hello, we'll do it now. So this is actually a demo. Yes, is it a short standalone game? It is a standalone game. Yes, we'll totally. Oh, oh. Hello, what's this? Hmm, what's this? Oh, Darkling Room, I see it. Got it. That would be the studio. Based in Cornwall, producing strong, narratively driven adventure games such as the Dark Wall and Darkfall and Crown series. Apparently. And that's yes. Very yeah. familiar. <laughs> and then Trolls also Shadow Tour Studios. Shadow Tour Studios. Gotcha. Okay. Right. What's up here? What's up here? Wait, is that carrying wood? Is that where we just were? Yes, it was. Wait, was it? Yeah, that would be the, eventually that would be the second entrance slash exit. Ah, to the wood. right. Oh, I kept the woods back. I just put them in, but uh, no, I thought Beryl was. The footpath leads to the Carrion Woods. I have to admit, I love the name What's Carrion the Woods because Carrion sounds so innocent, uh, mm. unless you know the meaning of the word. It's like, yeah. Oh, oh, so it's just a pile of dead animal corpses. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Great. So if you have a look at your map now, we're in another section. We oh, should be. look at that. Now here. Oh, the medieval plague pit. It's right there. Now you know mm. where it is. At the moment, it's in the flooded Raven area. Lane. That's one of my favourite um, locations, today. actually, from The Lost Crown. I love that. Um, when you first go from the train line and you see the sign and you got the uh, forest paths. Oh. I love yeah. that location. Yeah. A lot of it was based on actually moving living in London for such a long time and actually just realising you can just get off the bus and lose yourself somewhere mm. and look for churches mm. peeping out and stuff. It, really old fashioned. I think I'm a very old fashioned person anyway. So it was quite charming to be in a place where you realise it's not all on the map a lot of the time. So yeah, 
You should apologize for that pun. But that's uh, okay. I'm just as bad. Don't worry. He said, carry on, Woods. It gets quite deep. Ah. Oh, that gets quite deep. I think that was the best reaction. Oh. Oh, God. What would the queen do? <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Saxon Council. Oh, the new future. No. Basically being totally unsubtle, it's a case of everything in the future is going to be really ugly and horrible and modern. Oh, God. There's a little note there from Lucy Rubens. Oh, yeah, yeah, come back. Things oh, have changed. Oh. Things. For the better. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. now in right. Oh, this, this is brilliant. A lot of uh, Microsoft Word clip art and Comic Sans. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. That, that is exactly that, has, that, that small the, town. The Love small Heart town church. O. The Love Heart O. And yeah. the Love Heart I. And the exclamation point. So much love here. We love Andy. We love work. <laughs> <laughs> we love ghosts. I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> so it's funny. I mean, at the moment in the level, and this is where something I can go back for the point and click is, there's currently four time zones actually sitting in this level, uh, three of which are Hidden. switched off. <laughs> So there's lots of things that change in each time zone, and, and my favourite time zone is Easter, which is set in 1952, so mm -hmm. it's a very different flavour and feel to the church when people really... The church was still the centre of the community, whereas yeah. here in the future, you know, it's this desolate place with shitty old... Oh, well, I get sworn... Uh. <laughs> ...wiring, and, uh, well, it's just... It's old-fashioned. Obviously, and, I think the, uh, the 50, 1952 era is the best rector in it. Yeah, because you're in it. I know. Yeah. Singing. <laughs> Singing. Yeah, before before Nigel was met, this the rector in Lost Crown, he'll meet him in 1950 here. Yeah. And so oh. this tune, this tune in 1952 is still in perfect condition. It's only really just gone in. Right. And it's the only time you get to the puzzle. So it's, it's just sitting there. In t so the finished version of the puzzle and all the stuff is there, which is probably why, basically. <laughs> Because you've got four levels loaded at once. Yeah, like I say, it's a good experience to watch this playing on other people. I love, I love, I love this the, uh, the idea of, of seeing the same place in in multiple different time periods. Because uh, yeah, know, uh, especially something as old uh, as as a church, like you can go back to when it was pristine. You go into the future and see it all uh, either decrepit or falling yeah. apart. Yeah, just just seeing the uh, you know just the ravages of time, and I mean that's one thing I kind of liked about the eleventh hour. Not to keep bringing up the soup, um, <laughs> was the fact that the house had deteriorated. Uh, yes, yeah. exactly. Soup's on. It was it was interesting walking around and seeing, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the wallpaper crackling and the chair, uh, not the chairs, the stairs creaking and, and all of this. The did, you, did you ever too. play? Um, did you ever play Pissed? The um, I don't the want the demo to end. No, nah, neither do I. Okay, Lisa, neither do I. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I didn't play it, but I've, I've seen it. I've seen the, uh, John Goodman. And we were actually yeah. talking about it in the previous stream as well, just a couple of hours ago. <laughs> oh, something's a legendary. Yeah. <laughs> Too funny. John, John Goodman singing about being pissed with a, with a Y is certainly yeah, a yeah. stuff made of legends. I think the idea was is what would happen to that island if the million people who had played the game had actually turned up and played the game. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, remember I seeing... think we saw that at the end of End of Ages. Brexit Festival. Oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the future. Future Vintage Gaming, oh. welcome. Oh, the future is horrible. <laughs> look at look at how happy and smiling those children are around the tree, and it just goes Brexit Festival. Yeah, the and also, down. what does that mean? And also that it what says inclusion, diversity, and opportunity. That is that is brilliant satire, Lance. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> I do try to get a little bit in there. I do oh, I do like God. satire and uh, I tip my head off. <laughs> I love Northfield. I'm actually, I'm almost up to Northfield. I'm playing through the Lost Crown on my channel at the moment. I think we'll be up to oh, Northfield crap. in the next episode. Okay. I think it's the strongest part of the game because it's Nigel's first chance to get away from yeah. Saxton, really. Yeah. Uh, first of the locations. And some, last time I played it, I actually feel like it, I felt quite liberated being away from that town because it's quite claustrophobic with everyone mm. knowing your business, as it were. Mm. I grew up in a town it's like his that, first too, actually, so I get that. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Emergency lights? I mean, I did spend quite a lot, I, I, probably an unhealthy amount of time in my childhood wandering around looking for Churchills. 
That stone cross must have fallen. Mm. They're like little museums like, in villi in, villi in English villages. They can be like little museums. You know, mm. that you what you go in, learn pretty much what happened to the village within the space of an hour. Mm. Wow. Wow, there's a bunch of stuff to find outside, isn't there? Just like little vignettes, little uh, bits of. Yeah, scenery. I think we'll come across stronger in the point and click because you get. Yeah. Actions will be so much more obvious because you're rolling over the screen and you're just seeing the interaction. I like the music you I mean, I like there with the raven. Yeah, you nearly got your head clipped by the <laughs> raven there. Yeah, he's a he's a baddie character. Now there's been a few requests <laughs> for Nigel to go on. The it slide. is on the playlist. Um, yeah, Future I was Future just Channel. gonna ask, can he go on well, the slide? Apparently, I'm, he would I'm be. Busy. Yeah. So, and I think it would be a bit of a mess. <laughs> It would be a bit of a mood switch. I, I do agree. The name's barely <laughs> now I, sh I shall act oh, landing on my ass with, um, <laughs> with as much dignity as Nigel deserves. I'm going to have to animate Nigel line now. <laughs> yeah, you animate him and I'll I like that on the grid. That's a nice touch. That's another thing too. I was talking yeah. about it earlier before you guys were able to come on, but I love the partial color um, atmosphere yeah. in these games too. They're just something that I don't know. Just adds just a whole new level of something to the atmosphere. I can't quite put my finger on it, but. I mean, so I often get asked, you know, is it Schindler's List or is it, is it something like that? And mm. I'm always trying to remember what it was. I mean, I, I used to really like black and white photography. And one of the easiest ways to pass an exam was to just take Standing your black and white photograph. And I, from ancient times, you know, just to draw in one very tiny part. Mm. It makes it, it, somehow it turns it into a puzzle rather than just being straightforward. Yeah. And yeah. in this setting, obviously, it's supposed to be blood and Christmas and Jesus's thorns. You read it, read it this time. You, very specific color so because we're in the the hell part of it the the berries are supposed to kind of represent um you know if anyone knows i'm not that keen on gore in my games because um I, I don't know i prefer ghosts i just always have and so rather than blood it's berries <laughs> left as a little, well, little offering works. here and there i don't know why i giggled at that <laughs> that's the... maybe it's what berries i don't know it's a anyway. A much needed light. But there's a nice little snowman. I think the snowman was an asset, actually. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, I think that was a Unity asset. Free. Oh, that's cool. Yay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He works so well just a case to keep... Yeah, it's keep the blue. You know what? Because it's the blue actually, for color. Actually, uh, uh, Wonder, if you, could you, you know, like face the snowman and then take a screenshot and we'll, we'll have a thumbnail for the uh, VOD. Okay. <laughs> if you, if, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely mislead people about what the game is about. <laughs> yeah. What's a good Murderous angle? Snowman What's berries. a good angle here? That's too much. To get a first person. That is dramatic. You've got the church in the background as well. <laughs> yeah, we'll that's do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, he's looking. He's looking. There you go. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Oh, we don't. Built the whole actually a lot of a few things like these railings here as well along the side they were assets as well oh yeah yeah i mean after you built the church i just you just think oh you know do, do you i need to make the actual pieces? railings no, the life, is, life is too short to build your own rocks absolutely <laughs> i i have that that, that has to be it. <laughs> unless they're very special rocks. Some of the must, the, 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 i must the, say though the church looks um the church looks great Oh, yeah, yeah, it's it very much in proportion to the real version. I think yeah. because Matt's got an interest in archaeology, the just, challenge was to actually try and make the church the same as the real one. Just because that's that whole lost crown thing. Yeah. I think, I think, I think it, this looks like the this looks like the place when we approach in the lost crown, and it's, it's there's that shot, photo there. Yeah. yeah, that looks like the picture's torn. That's you know, right. That, we'll, yeah. we'll replicate some of the original shots in the point and click mode. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be awesome, guys. I mean, the rich actually... thing was quite a fun clue because it was just a hint to the fact that this place is fun to now be in the future in a future engine thinking, oh, here we are in that we time slip. We are slip. now in the time slip. We have stepped through the original tear in the yeah. photograph from the Lost Crown game. Yeah. Well, it was fun to make. We had, a, we had a lot of fun making this. It was, we just felt a little more free suddenly and we just thought, let's go for it. I was oh, actually it's... afraid to ask how much of this is based on, on real life architecture because I've um, never been to this oh, the... part of the world before. This is a recreation of the entire, of the church. entire church, including all the uh, 
inside locations. The only, I think the only thing that's not in the church is the big pipe organ and the big eagle brass lectern. Yes, we... Uh, cause we I couldn't, the organ I couldn't imagine this Some game in colour. The black and white adds so much to the atmosphere. Definitely. Got Grog, definitely. Hmm. Is oh, this thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Tanu Kitsun, is this called Barrow Hill? No, it's not, but close. This no, is the Lost Crown. No, that'll be my mother again. <laughs> <laughs> my mother. <laughs> what, what I'll do, because I haven't actually done this yet, um, show off some of the ghost hunting tools before we go. I know we've got some... Oh, yes, please. So this is our EMF meter right here. EMF. Oh, like yeah, yeah one small bullshit meter. we got a spike here uh, at this photo. Oddly enough... Oddly enough, it, it, it peaks when you go near electrical outlets. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got that. This one's been it's modified by... It's very high if you go to the switch box. If you go in there, oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. There we go. Look at that. Well, I mean, there's obviously a ghost in the generator. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got an EMF. I think I did here. this EMF stuff at Dartful. I think it was the first time I did it. Yeah. I'm yeah. still sticking to the... The meter tells you there's a ghost here method with these... <laughs> it's a noise. I it must be something. I like the clicks uh, too. Just, yep. The dictaphone is my real favorite. The dictaphone. Oh, there's there's one over there. Yeah, there's yeah. one over there. Just wants to say hi. I, I just really want an EF meter, that uh, EMF meter that doesn't uh, click. Just goes. Oi! Look over there. <laughs> yeah. It's an Aussie EMF. And preferably takes the photograph of the ghost as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need an all-in-one gadget then. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Hang on, Wanderer. If you go and sh if you go and shove this in the uh, uh, priest's face, does it just like the needle just sort of ah, smashes the glass? And let's, <laughs> find it off. let's find out, shall we? Moment has been prepared for. You can't, yeah. I'm afraid. No. It starts oh. going in circles. Oh well. It's Damn. just too rude. You can't shove you these can't things in a thing. I can't. Okay. <laughs> All right. But as Nigel it's said, it's never stopped me before. Or oh. using camera, <laughs> funny <Yeah>. enough. <laughs> so this is our <laughs> EVP. Yes. This is for yes. EVPs right here. You'll find all sorts of audio clues inside and out, all over the world using the. Oh wow! Well, I should have been doing this. I wouldn't try time. in real life. It's quite boring. Hang on, I have a question. Uh, is it my frame rate that's acting up, or are the spindles no, of the cassette moving <laughs> opposite each other? Oh, they're going backwards and forwards. Yeah. Several times, but it little it keeps... little, little grim. For some Wait, reason, what? they keep like demonic or something, but uh, no, we have tried. We will be fixing those two reels. <laughs> just, oh my God. What I was just thinking is that maybe it's one of those uh, effects like if you. It's if you, highly um, radioactive. Yes, it is. And Barrow Hill is also a great game. Yes, it is, Scott Grodd. Yes, it is. If you, if, you, if, you, if you videotape a car going by, the wheels will appear to be, you know, rolling in the opposite direction. I thought maybe it was sort of that kind it's of. It's going that frame fast. Rate was messing with. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, just oh, a good old glitch. I love it. That's the best glitch ever. I can hear music there. The choir stalls. It's interesting. So when you play back the tape, does it? <laughs> <laughs> so can can you actually play back the tape, or is it just like a live ghost recording? When 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 Nigel when Nigel's determined he he thinks it's interesting enough, he he makes a recording and keeps the tape. Ah. Oh, cool. And then you go over to his laptop and go into Audacity and click Amplify. Yeah, but once he's convinced, once he's convinced the vicar, basically, she can pay him to free her of her curse. Uh, he sets up all these ghost hunts with a crime board of all the evidence items to fill in and recordings to find. And that's probably where most of the puzzle content's actually in the in the game is just determining who are the main hauntings, what scores, because obviously. Nigel believes in ghosts, and the dictaphone's clearly playing a choir, so it's more a case of like, who are the ghosts that are actually causing the haunting, so it all comes ah, zeroes in a little. And that's how we keep track of the choir before with the little. Yeah, board yeah. Over there. So he'll set up a whole H itself, and then. All I like the... a. He'll take over a corner of the. Eventually. He's our. Do you feel, feel free to try the ghost gadgets? Um, all the uh, different areas of the graveyard will have. Uh, Hints on what's to come. Okay, well, let's, let's have a look. I'll just do a little I'm quick walkthrough of the church on the camera. You're doing well with them controls. Well done. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> it, it's like a bronco, I know, but yeah, you there, I promise. I'm really holding on. I'm really holding on. I'm glad you can understand what I'm. Oh, no, I mean, it's, right now. <laughs> it's my main issue. Yeah. 
I mean, it's, it's my it, it's, it's, not that it's my love of controllers and my my you whoa, know predilection whoa. to controllers. And stuff. Something happened there. Mm. Oh yeah, there's a presence in the church. It's one of the two Ooh. choir people. Did anyone see that? Standing no. right there. That was cool. If I did see it. I'm just gonna watch. Oh, I see. I see it on the uh, stream replay. Yeah. There yeah. it is. Yeah. Hello. Okay. We'll just run around. I think we'll, we'll slowly turn around because nothing can be behind me, surely. Oh yeah. I, I was just gonna say that's one of the creepiest horror tropes there is. Is slowly <laughs> turning around. Something's behind you. Or figure standing at the end of a long hallway. And we've yeah. just had both. Well, one okay. of the things of the first Star Fall that was fun was he, because it was point and click, that slideshow presentation, people actually used to say to me, it's like, just about the idea of turning left or right. Mm. You know, because and you think about that now and you think, you know, were we really that impressed back then? But I'm guessing we must have been. Well, sometimes when I've played Dark Fall, like, now and then, some of the random noises that go off in the hotel sometimes make me jump still. Oh, I love random. Ran okay. I mean, random in a game, it's giving it over to either God or Satan or something, because it's, yeah. um, I I've, I've always found no random. It's it's annoying. You almost have to put in two lots of random for random to work, because there will be that moment where it just plays track 10 over, mm -hmm. over and over again. Yeah. You can see it just making the same decision all the time. And you just think, well, the only thing you can do is two randoms. It's the only way, and even then it still persists coming to it you know randoms opening up to something else i mean not to draw any comparisons because of course there aren't but uh there's there's one game that does random in a very subtle and very interesting and creepy way and that's doki doki literature club that will occasion Zoom's on. Uh, hang on hmm. uh yeah it's offline here did restream just uh, I think hang it on. might have. I think it might have. I think, I think we might be back. Yeah. Oh, yep. I've got. A, you I've can, got, you I've can got, back up. Yeah, we're back. But yeah, I don't the much, <laughs> How do I? Yeah. How can I re re restart that chat box? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Hang on. Let me um, um just try that. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to log in. <laughs> I'm just gonna re-put the URL back in and see if that. There we go. There yeah, we that go. That should work. Okay, yeah. we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. That was really creepy because <laughs> once, as soon as that went down, I heard a voice through the um, dictaphone there. Ah, uh, yes, that's that's actually what crashed crashed <laughs> yeah, the stream. Yeah, I think I'm. Um, I think so. We're back. So yeah, I have. I haven't got the time to refresh. Might want to refresh the chat. Yeah, we did. We, we did. did. We got it. Okay. Oh, restream. You just made everything a lot more creepy. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, the... Oh, it's going apeshit. Yeah. Oh. Crows are not pleased. pleased. Oh, they are not. In a place full of crows, somewhere that's there's even more crows. More crows. <laughs> and more so crows than there are. Yeah. Couple that with the what they're doing with the cards, and obviously eventually they turn out to be the uh, well, um... the main villain. I was gonna say hero of the game. Heroes of the game. <laughs> I've Heroes already claimed game. that. <laughs> well, it's been too long. So yeah, honestly, Heroes. you do wonderfully, guys. Oh. What a comment. I'm <laughs> saying it's gonna be to everyone here. Because he didn't specify it. Uh, uh, cheers. <laughs> there we are. I'll, I'll just pretend it was all for me. <laughs> that was it. Seriously, I, I love the mood of this. I love a good ghost story. Ghost stories are my favorite horror. Uh, oh, excellent. Thank movies. you very much. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, me too. And I love the way how, like you said before, without the gore, it's, it's still creepy. It's just executed yeah. brilliantly. I mean, Ooh. horror is a lot of things. Horror can oh, be gory Station and weird and dad. unsettling. And you can have oh, yeah, yeah, the uh, train crash. Oh, train this is where they buried them. Guys, yeah. This might even be the horror game even I could enjoy because I typically don't do horror games because I, I don't handle jump scare as well. But this doesn't seem all that jump scary. Yet. Um, <laughs> I can only think, I can think of two. Uh, one we've already had in the tower. 
that one off the list straight away because <laughs> it just wasn't it, scary. But no, there's no real. Uh, I mean, I think with ghost stories, it's more a case where you've got the patience for them, really. I mean, sometimes I don't have the patience. Sometimes I do it a bit. In the case of a ghost story, you have to tell a longer story to get the ultimate impact. Whereas horror, you can give them the first big whammy straight off, you know, to keep their attention. Yeah. They need to build. Yeah. They, that's that's what they need to do. And that's why I really enjoyed, like, House on... Uh, uh, not House on the Haunted Hill. Uh, the Haunting of Hill House, the, the Netflix series. Oh, because yeah. it has a very, very slow build. And uh, and, and, and just really... Because a good ghost story is oh about God, characters. Cool. Some yeah. of them are dead, of course. But, uh, you know, getting to know the characters and who they were and why they're haunting the place. And that takes time and yeah. effort. Whereas, got whereas Grog says, got a, like, a The Lost Crown is honestly one of my favorite games. Me too, man. Oh, thank, you, for, thank you very much. I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, and honestly, I, I have to say, I, I did not, I, I hadn't heard of this game before uh, Wanderer said, I'm going to play this on the uh, on the stream, and I was really looking forward to seeing what it was about, and I am very much into this. I will definitely be playing the, uh, the full game when it comes out. Oh, nice. cool. I mean, that's that's the biggest endorsement is to, uh, you know, have someone out of nowhere kind of like say, you know, I'll give this a go. That's brilliant. Mm. Absolutely. I'll even pay for it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's in biscuits. Lucy Phonics <laughs> says needs a little more Slender Man. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> well, there's a few. Look, there's, there's, that looks like a. No, no. Don't worry. Trick of the light. Sure. Nope. Nope. There, were, there was no ghost. <laughs> I'm catching on. <laughs> oh, Chaotic Fusion donated. Oh, Chaotic Fusion. Yeah, Thank you fusion. for the donation, mate. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. I just want to see. Oh, wow. Well, it is spiking in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, of course it is. Hmm. <laughs> Someone's Those having a powerful moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I didn't oh, notice that. Ghosts were full of shit. <laughs> oh, look at that. Does that box say Brexit in the bin? <laughs> no, I'm just seeing things. Never mind. Does the snowman actually spike? Is it a haunted snowman? Nope. No, he's a friendly he snowman. A wholesome, friendly, friendly. Christmassy no. snowman. We must end him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's about time we go put I the logs on the fire, isn't it? Yeah, I think we should head yeah. inside. Yeah, let's do it. I think we've been having a crowd and suffering the controls and stuff. It's uh, hey, it's warm it's the worth it. Your it's, trip. It's, it is worth it, man. It is worth it. Out of interest, are you playing on the keyboard, the mouse, or a controller? I think it's probably keyboard. I'm actually using a combination of keyboard and mouse, depending on which way the camera wants to pull me. So I'm trying to compensate. Okay. We should keep on trying to balance them and get them working. Oh, there's that thing know. again, but I didn't have a camera this time. And she hasn't disappeared. Right. Exactly. Mm. Things are moving on. You, uh, yes, the, uh, the church is building oh. up to, um, well, it's big event, Midnight Mass. Mm. Look at that. Surely Here someone is. would notice that walking into the church. <laughs> Notice what? Yeah, yeah, notice what? Oh, look at that. <laughs> notice what? <laughs> it's like, this, this ghost just went, you know what? If I'm being too subtle, here's a bunch of fucking confetti. Could you look in my direction now, please? I know, make, make an effort. What ghost? On. Make an effort. <laughs> Give me a comment. <laughs> just anything. Look, look where yeah, I'm pointing. I'm, I'm, just, very I'm trying as hard as I can. <laughs> But no, back to Vicar. Little job's worth. Yeah. Back to Vicar. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Here we are. Okay. Um, I, I was just outside tape recording your surroundings. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. Surely that's fine. Shoving a meter in your toilet. <laughs> so we got the donation total at $189.96. Yay, yay, nice. Yay. Golf claps Golf all around. Clap. Mate is like friend. Yes, it is, Dan. Ikifu, I find mate's pretty universal over here. All right. Let's do it. Logs on the fire. Look yeah. Logs on? Yeah. That should do the trick. Oh, yeah. Logs on. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I tried. <laughs> no, that was good, man. That was good. Uh, yeah. Uh, All we need is a pot of boiling. Who are you? Yeah. Really? What gave it away? Mm. You know as little as me about the church. Mm. So Chuck him on the logs. The sexton. Honestly. <laughs> My uh, Muppet Mouth animation has an improved that was a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way she was sort of leaning forward, just sort of wafting at thin air, going, You're not the se No, but you're clearly drunk. <laughs> yeah, she's found the communion wine. Got the flaming user again, then. No, but char uh, so, uh, so, so, so the character animation is the main. Ooh. The music's. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Investigate the supernatural. A ghost hunter? Oh, someone outside. Yes. Oh, there is a ghost. Ooh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I missed that. Oh, here. there she is. That, that and the Christmas cards, on. they lured me to this church. Lured? Oh, yeah, that's I've very haunting now. a hill house right yeah, there. Yeah, she's one of the little rats. you here? Oh, was she There's one of the girls from the wrong. Lost Crown? Those little children? What's wrong? Hands up for the end you know? Stifling, in fact. Yeah, listen, Vicar, idiot. <laughs> so why are your clothes? I mean, really, why are you paying attention? Why are right, you still the church is clearly full of ghosts. Give You're dead. Time. Move on. It was a blizzard out there. I was <laughs> soaked. I think a snowdrift landed on me. Well, and, uh, oh. there's the other small matter. Oh, there's the other small care. matter. You don't have a don't pulse. That could be one yeah. thing. <laughs> That's why she's in black and white. She has no blood. <laughs> yeah. It's just Broken. You're quite pale. You oh, wait, it's just the color scheme. Says you, Mr. Subterfuge, but I can't knock your effort. She's sassy. It's I like not her. She is, there is no match. She's, she's played by my friend Amy, who Listen. I shall say that I mean. You said it was tweaked. But uh, yeah, she worked really hard. We, we acted together actually doing this one to try and make Listen. it a little less. But still try to keep that old fashioned BBC English delivery. Come on. <laughs> I was gonna say I love the way the Silent Night score came in, and that was fantastic. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, they look frozen, or they just came from the Whitby Goth Festival. We're we're not entirely sure. Oh, that was creepy. Mm. And then I think we end on the the, the kind of predicament. Oh, the snow globe. Oh, you don't know how hype I was when I downloaded this snow globe. This. <laughs> Oh, I just want to really say, got Grog, thanks for the subscription on my YouTube channel, man. I just got that notification. Oh, nice. Cheers. Oh, yeah, feel free, uh, by the way, streamers, to, of course, plug your own uh, channels, your YouTubes and your Twitches and your whatnots. Um, I think, actually, may, Rizulka may have forgotten to do that last stream. Oh, we can plug, we can plug for her. We could. And I will uh, definitely we... plug the hell out of my whatnots. <laughs> oh, it is the so we go back to the actual snow globe preview thing. So oh, yeah, cool. Nigel's trapped in the snow globe for the moment. Yeah. Until the full game about a subtle one. predicament. Wow. So please, please hurry up and finish the game so we can buy it and let him out. I think he's running out of air. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thanks for thanks for playing. It's been really cool to to see it on. No worries. Else's thanks for team. taking the time to come on here with us. Really appreciate yeah, it. Good. And, yeah, oh, really, thank you luck. so much. And thanks for the have questions. A... <laughs> Cheers, had a, had a great time. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you everyone okay. here in the chat for coming to watch my little yeah. bit here. Yeah, and, thank for you. All, and for all your donations as well to Girls Make Games. Yes, cool. I keep, Gemini, I keep having you on my brain. I keep going to say Girls <laughs> Do Games. Girls Do Games. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, okay, that, that's another thing. I suppose it could I've be been, worse. I've been saying these things all night. Okay, Lisa, all great stream, guys. Like girls do Gemini or something like that? No. Got, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Got Grog. Um, thanks to Jonathan Burks. And thanks to Matt Clark as well for coming on. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks for watching. No yes. worries. Cheers. Okay, I'm going to... Signing off. This is the Wonder 1990. Just search that on YouTube. You'll find me. Um, thanks again, guys. All right, I move left. And uh, stay tuned for well, uh, Iggy well, who's going to be coming on and playing State of Mind in just a few minutes. Oh, just before yeah. we go. 200. Donation goal is at exactly $200. The total, not the goal. Woohoo! <laughs> is it?
Do we? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course we... it is. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, uh, oh, do I you doubt total. I thought, I thought total. you said donation go. I did, but I didn't go. mean to. I, I meant to say total. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've reached the sure, cap. Everybody else can go home. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. Screw the rest of this marathon. <laughs> we've, we've reached the goal. We can all go home. Uh, uh, seriously, uh, the Wanderer, thank you so much for uh, for uh, participating no in worries. the No worries. Thanks uh, for having me, mate. Go check out his uh, YouTube channel, A Wanderer's Ramblings. Um... Which is just uh, youtube.com slash the wonder in nineteen ninety. All right. I believe. Anyway, if I'm if I'm mistaken about that, you should uh, um, tell me. Um, <laughs> I yeah. think it's forward slash the wonder is ramblings, but you can search me up as the wonder in nineteen ninety. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. it's it's one of those things. It's anyway, one of those he does. Things. He's he's. I'll put the he's link in the chat. the eleventh hour. Yeah. I, that's yeah. right. I I got through it. Okay. But anyway, uh, we will be signing off now, and in a few minutes, uh, Ikifu will be joining us and playing State of Mind. I wonder Ooh. what state of mind he will be in. <laughs> His usual. Oh. So this should be fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> be back in a sec, guys.